हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल विल कंटिन्यू क्लास सिक्स हिस्ट्री चैप्टर वन द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट एंड हिस्ट्री पार्ट टू ऑन टेक्सट बुक पेज नंबर टू जोग्रफिकल फीचर्स ऑफ इंडिया इंडिया इज अ वेरी ह्यूज कंट्री इन साइज एंड स्प्रेड्स फार एंड वाइड टू द नॉर्थ ऑफ इंडिया लाइज हिमालयज माउंटेन टू द साउथ ऑफ इंडिया लाइज इंडियन ओशन टू द ईस्ट ऑफ इंडिया लाइज बे ऑफ बेंगाल and to the west of india lies arabian sea pakistan and bangladesh were a part of india in ancient india after india's independence pakistan and india got divided himalayas the hindu kush and himalayan ranges have created an impenetrable wall on the northern side of the indian subcontinent this wall has separated the indian subcontinent from the deserts of central asia Himalaya is the highest mountain range in Asia separating the plains of the Indian subcontinent from Tibetan plateau This mountain range covers approximately 2400 km Himalaya mountain range passes through the countries like India Pakistan Afghanistan China Nepal and Bhutan However there is a land route through the Khyber and Bolan passes in the Hindu Kush mountains This route was connected to an ancient trade route Khyber pass is the mountain pass lies in Pakistan the trade route from China passed through central asia and reached arabia it is known as the silk route or silk road in ancient times there was a trade route in china called silk road the silk road passed through central asia and reached arabia silk was the main raw materials exported to the western countries by using this road in ancient times many foreigners came to visit india by using the silk road the plains of the sindhu ganga brahmaputra where does this region lies it is given here this region consists of the basins of the three big rivers sindhu ganga brahmaputra and their tributaries this region extends from sindh punjab in the west to the present day bangladesh in the east it was in this region that the earliest indian civilization of harappa and the later states and empires of ancient india emerged sindhu ganga and brahmaputra plains approximately spreads 3200 km from east to the west the average width of these plains is from 150 to 300 km the thar desert the thar desert spreads across rajasthan haryana and some parts of gujarat a part of the desert lies in today's pakistan thar desert is the very hottest desert in rajasthan haryana and part of gujarat you can find a large number of camels in this desert to the north of thar desert lies satluj river to the south of thar desert lies run of kutch to the east of thar desert lies arawali range and to the west of thar desert lies indus river the gagara rivers in himachal pradesh reaches the thar desert the deccan plateau the deccan plateau is located between eastern and western ghats to the east of the deccan plateau is the bay of bengal to the west of the deccan plateau is the arabian sea and to the south of the deccan plateau is the indian ocean vindhyas and satpuras mountain ranges lies in the north of the deccan plateau the mountains on the western side of the deccan plateau is called western ghats and the mountains on the eastern side of the deccan plateau is called eastern ghats the coastal regions from the time of the harappan civilization ancient india had trade relations with the western countries this trade was carried on by sea therefore india had developed contact and interaction with foreign cultures and people at the sea ports later on land routes came to be used for trade and transport but the importance of sea routes did not diminish during ancient times in coastal region it was given the stories that india had buying and selling good relations with western countries coastal regions are the local administrative units that is bordering or is very close to coastline 
coastline is a line that land and water surfaces meet gujarat maharashtra goa karnataka kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh odisha and west bengal are the nine coastal states of india the islands in the sea andaman and nicobar islands are the indian islands in the bay of bengal many people from different places in our country and many people from different countries are coming to visit in andaman and nicobar islands during holidays it is one of the coldest islands in india many people are used to travel by boat across this island the lakshadweep island is in arabian sea observe the image of lakshadweep island the indian subcontinent Arappa and Mohenjo-daro cities was there in ancient India but when India and Pakistan got divided after India's independence the cities of Arappa and Mohenjo-daro was in Pakistan Afghanistan Pakistan India Sri Lanka China Nepal and Bhutan are the countries that lies in South Asia these South Asian countries together form a region called Indian subcontinent If you understood class 6 history chapter 1 part 2 give us the feedback or comments subscribe the channel like and share thank you